Hello everyone and welcome to Ukula Underground Songs Made Easy. My name is Aldrin Guerrero and I'm going to be your instructor for today. Joining me is Mr. Aaron the Voice Nakamura. Say what's up Aaron. What's up? And Mr. Kahai the Legend Ferrigan. Say what's up Kahai. What's up? <laughs> These two guys will be helping me teach this song. Um, Aaron is uh, manning all the cameras and the camera angles. Kahai is uh, is manning the um, all the gizmos and gadgets that he needs to manage in order to like switch the cameras in between and stuff and uh both of them will kind of be helping me out if there's any kind of uh small detail that i may have missed so the three of us will be helping you learn this song and today's song that you're going to learn is a song called breakdown by jack johnson now this song breakdown we have a full lesson over at ukuleleunderground.com if you're interested in that but this is going to be the beginner version of uh, of what we've taught over at ukulele underground so this it's going to be in the same key we're still in the key of c but i'm going to show you all the chords and i'm going to show you how to strum those chords and i'm going to show you how to kind of move between each chord so um you know switching from one chord to another is going to uh going to be a lot easier all right and then we're going to play the song together and we're just going to have some fun and um this is the first thursday and we uh, you know of the month and we do this every thursday but the last thursday of the month we're going to have a little jam so i'm going to teach you this song this week next week another song and then another uh, another song the following week and then after that we're going to be jamming those three songs in kind of like a kani kapila style as we like to call it in hawaii or just kind of jam style so we like to jam out um imagine if you're in an ukulele club and you're learning these songs and we're kind of practicing them for the end of the month jam so to speak Okay, so here we go. Breakdown sounds something like this. I hope this old train breaks down and I can take a walk around and see what there is to see. And time is just a melody with all the people in the street walk as fast as the feet. I just roll through town And though my window's got a view Well, the frame I'm looking through Seems to have no concern for now So for now, I I need this Old train to break down Oh, please just Let me please break down This engine strings out loud Bound. So I don't even make a sound It's gonna sting me when I leave this town And all the people in the street That I'll never get to meet If these tracks don't bend somehow And I got no time That I've got to get to Where I don't need to be So I I need this All train to break going to be in the key of C like I mentioned is going to be in the original key as uh, as how Jack Johnson did it in his album all right so the first chord we're gonna learn is a chord C this time we're gonna be using our pointer finger so I usually tell people to use their ring finger 
and why I used to tell people that or you know for for any other style other than this is because you can get to your F chord from here you can get to your G7 chord from here and you can get to many many different chords from your C chord but in this particular example um, I chose this song because of this so we're gonna be using our pointer finger for our C chord so A string third fret with your pointer finger like this now if at any point you feel like I'm going too fast or if there's something that you're not quite you know understanding you can totally ask us we are live right now if you're you know if you're watching this on a Thursday um, you can ask your questions and Kahai will let me know um, but if you know if you're kind of having a hard time playing some of these chords you know don't uh, don't worry just kind of keep going learn what you can you can always watch this again and you can always try you know try it again you can you know some people take you know take uh, like two seconds to learn something some people take two hours some people take two days or two weeks or even two months so uh, learn it at your own pace so if you uh, you know if you can't uh, play a chord for you know for any reason at all you can just take your fingers and play it over like this okay and I'll show you just a little bit what I mean by that all right so first off uh, C chord you want to take your uh, you know your thumb and you want to just run it through the strings like this and you want to check each string to see if it's coming out nicely and you don't want to hear this so you don't want to hear that it's like nails on a chalkboard for some ukulele players you know nice sounding chord now our next chord is going to be an E minor chord and the reason why we use our pointer finger for the C chord is because for our next chord E minor in this song all we have to do is take our pointer finger and scooch it down one fret so you're playing A string second fret with your pointer finger then your middle finger goes on the E string third fret and your ring finger goes on the C string fourth fret so I want you to kind of imagine like a staircase that's how I kind of used to think about it when I was you know when I was starting to play ukulele like oh it's a staircase you know ukulele so imagine like you're going up to the G string right so here you're like do 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 you can do that if you if you want to kind of visualize this as a staircase now uh, for the most part when you're playing your C chord Okay, you're supporting it with uh, with your thumb in the back like this. I'm not kind of I'm not pressing forward or anything like that. I'm just kind of putting it on top of the uh, on the back of the neck like this, just so that you know it's nice and supported. So while I'm doing that, my middle and ring finger are actually already in staircase position, as you notice. Okay, because what I can do is I can just kind of scooch that pointer finger down and bring the staircase down. So imagine like, I don't know, there's some like addicts nowadays that you know like uh, people just kind of pull on the string and then the um, like the staircase kind of falls down. So you imagine that, like this is the staircase and after you play that C chord, you're gonna pull on that, you know, on that uh, on that string or whatever chain, whatever, it, 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 it's, it's going to rope <laughs> and you know, and the staircase falls down making your E minor chord, all right? So your next chord is an A minor which you just kind of let this whole thing go, but your middle finger will go up on the G string second fret. So from your C to your E minor, see how easy that was? To the A minor, see I've kind of let go everything. So I'm le letting go of the whole thing. Middle finger, see this right here, will go up on the G string second fret. All right, so our next chord is going to be G. So your middle finger is going to go down, back down to the A string second fret. Corner finger goes on the C string second fret. Ring finger on the E string second fret, like so. So it's kind of like a like a cup, almost like a cup. So there's like the uh, you know the space in the middle of that cup where you can pour whatever beverage that you want to pour in there. So G, like a cup. If you're having a hard time, if your fingers are kind of bunching up. You can always Kind of take your uh, take your wrist and just swing it over closer to the headstock of the ukulele. Why that is is because this position right here allows your fingers to uh, come at it from an angle on the side, so they're not all kind of bunching up from underneath like this. See how bunched up my fingers are? But if I move it to the left, it's a lot more clear. All right, make sure you have those nice arches. So that you're only touching the strings that I specified. And same thing to reset because you're going back to C for the uh, for the chord progression. Just let everything go. Point of finger goes back down on the E string third fret. 
Okay, so from your G chord, just reset, let everything go. Corner finger, see what I'm doing here. Notice though, while I reset this middle and ring finger, if I let this go, I'm keeping them together. Why? Because when my corner finger goes down on the A string third fret, bam, there's my staircase already. Okay, so from your G chord like this, if you just take off this pointer finger for your G chord, you can see the top two steps of your staircase already. So if you just keep that together, so let it go, but keep those two fingers together, pointer finger down here for your C chord, you can get you to your E minor really quick. All right, so once again, let's review our first chord progression. Go C to E minor. To A minor, to G, and then back to C. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a martial artist, you know, in any sense of the word. But in a, in in karate or karate, you know, like uh, they they'll tell you that you want to make the most impact with a little you know little movement as possible. Less movement, more impact. That's basically what we're doing here. We're getting to those chords, you know, as uh, as we play these you know these fingerings on our left hand but when we move you know we're we're doing as little movement as possible but we are getting to those chords and we're changing really really cleanly and very nicely all right i think it's called economy of motion economy of motion there you go see yeah. see i told you guys these two guys back here if i'm missing something even minute details they'll let me know what is uh what, sorry what was it again the Economy of motion. Economy of motion. Because you want as little movement and then as most as mm. much gain as possible. Right? Mm. So. Yeah. So our economy of movement with you know with this uh, with this song is in full force. You know with uh, with these chord changes. All right. Because uh, I get a lot of questions. You know, people asking, okay, you know, how do I get from this chord to that chord? You know, a lot smoother or a lot faster or a lot cleaner. And um, and the answer is just songs like this. Just pick songs. That are gonna, you know, are gonna be the same songs over and over and over. Because what that means is you're going to be practicing those chord changes and switches over and over and over. So you're gonna figure out different ways to do them, and uh, you might figure out the easy way to do them for, you know, for yourself, right? So when you uh, when you practice songs like this, you'll get to uh, next time you go from C to E minor, you're gonna be like, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my pointer finger instead of my ring finger for, you know, for that, and then I can get to my E minor really quickly. All right, so uh, with these four chords, that will basically be uh, for most of the song. There's going to be a bridge that we're going to add a, a, a new chord in there, an F chord. But for the most part, these four chords are what we'll be using for, uh, for I want to say, like mo like 90% of the song. All right, but if, um, if you guys are visual learners, you can always go to uh, click on the link below so there's going to be a link in the description of this video you can click on that and it'll lead you to a place where you can sign up for our newsletter and on the newsletter we send you folks these right here you can print these sheets out so we've always talked about it. i never really showed them yet so you can print out these song sheets where we have the chords at the top and then the chord progression for the verse and uh, verse chorus and bridge all right and if you guys want these ahead of time so that you can kind of take a look at them before the uh, Thursday live lesson or sorry the uh, the songs made easy lesson then you can totally sign up for the newsletter which gives you this uh, the next one in advance uh, the next week's lesson in advance and um, and you can check out the rest of the uh, the archives of songs oh, the made easy as well. songs. yeah the previous songs and you can uh, print these out and make a songbook, whatever you want, so you, this can feel more like an ukulele club for some of you. Okay? So that's, that's it right there. You can check that out. Somebody just said that they put their song sheets in a binder. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's exactly what, you know, what, what we wanted you guys to do. Just kind of put them in a binder so you can have these, you know, available when, whenever you want to jam. Mm -hmm. Or when we do the last jam at the end of the month, you can just flip through your book. Because who knows? I might go back to a song from month one, you know, or maybe month two. Who knows? Sometimes... Uh, I like to just kind of throw some stuff in there. All right. So, uh, as far as the strum, we're gonna take that. Uh, we're gonna take our thumb again. And we're just gonna kind of run through the strings like this. So if you feel it out, if you just take your thumb and place it on, you know, on the G, and just kind of press down like this, that's playing the notes. Now you want to press down on all four strings, like so. I'm using the side of my thumb, the flesh. Strong. 
So each of these chords are going to get two down strums, okay? So we're going to count one, two, one, two. So for example, my C, one, two, one, two. That's going to be the quick change from C to E minor. So one, two, one, two, then A minor, one, two. part is going to be that. So let's try to play that and let's just play the first verse and chorus, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Once again, if you can't, you know, if you can't seem to follow it in this tempo, just keep going. And if there's a chord that you're unfamiliar with, this is what you do. Just place your fingers over the strings and then get it on the next chord. So if you can't play that E minor, you can just play C and two strums of this and then to the A minor and then to the G. Or maybe if you can't play the G, you can just do this. So whatever it is that you know that you can do right now, go ahead and go do that. But try your best, all right? And um, just letting you know that you can always watch this again uh, and learn it at your own pace. Not everyone's gonna learn it, you know, within the 30 minutes, like a lot of time that we have for the show. Um, but it'll be up on our channel. You can watch it over and over as much as you want. Okay? Here we go. One, two, first, first and chorus. So that was first verse and chorus. So as you notice, if you look at the song sheet that I was talking about, verse and chorus share the same chords and chord progressions. All right. Now we're going to add a brand new chord, which is the F chord. It's going to be this, uh, your middle finger on the G string, second fret, corner finger, E string, first fret. That's your F chord. Now, the chord progression for the bridge is going to be C, G, then F. So because we're not going C to E minor anymore, for the bridge, we're going to use our ring finger for the C. You can still use your pointer finger if you want, you know, if you got used to that with the song, totally fine. But if you want to learn, you know, a, a smooth way to trans, uh, transition, you're going to do that, uh, that C chord with your ring finger. Then to get to the G, your middle finger right behind it, you can just kind of press it on the A string second fret already, it's not going to make a difference. Let go of your ring finger. So that your middle finger is in the A string 2nd fret. Ring finger goes up a string to the E string 3rd fret. Corner finger goes and wraps around to the C string 2nd fret like this. So you know how to play a G, but in order to get from your C chord, one string up. And if you got used to holding that kind of staircase anyway, that staircase is still there. Remember that staircase on your G chord? So if you play your C with your ring finger, if you can get the staircase kind of ready already, and all you gotta do is bring that corner finger around for your G chord, you can get to it that way as well. Now, your uh, your ring finger is gonna go, your middle finger is gonna go up, so these two fingers are actually gonna switch positions. See how my corner finger is at the top right now and my middle finger is on the bottom? They're gonna switch positions so that my middle finger goes up and my pointer finger is the one that's on the bottom so play that f chord right there g string second fret e string first fret so from your g going to your f and your ring finger is right there getting ready for your c chord as it goes c and then it's a it's a fast switch from the g to the f so it goes two strums on c one two and it goes 
G, then F, then back to C. So let's try that out. Let's um let's, let's play it together. Let's do it kind of slow. So one, two, three, four. So C one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Right, so now let's uh, let's try to play the whole thing, uh, the whole thing together. Okay. Oh, actually, let's just uh, let's just go to the bridge and let's play it um, in in the up the tempo. Let's up the tempo and let's sing it together. Okay, it goes like this: one, two, ready, go. I wanna break it down, but I can't stop now. Let me break on down. Pretty much what you know what you're gonna be singing along with those chords. Okay, you guys want to take it from the beginning? Here oh, we like go. A, oh. uh, the verse goes like right from the or not? Is it verse? Uh, mm -hmm. That previous chord part or chord uh, yeah, pattern? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, chorus is from the chorus. It goes from the chorus to the bridge. And it just kind of goes straight from the old pattern to the mm, new to the one. new pattern because uh, so yeah, has that's a that's a great question. So it goes like this. Um, I need, need all train to break down Oh, please just let me please break down Break down It goes I wanna break on down And I can't stop now So it goes directly like right into that one So once again it goes Oh, please just let me please break down I wanna break on down And I can't stop now Let me break on down Alright, okay, so let's try it from the beginning. Everybody ready? One, two, ready, go, C E minor, A minor, to the G. I hope this old train breaks down, then I can take a walk around and see what there is to see. And time is just a melody, with all the people in the street walk as fast as the feet can take them. I just roll through town. Seems to have no concern for now So for now I I need this old train to break down Oh please just let me please break down The engine screams out loud Let 
me break on down. I'm gonna go back to the original one. But you can't stop nothing if you got no control of the thoughts in your mind that you kept in your nose. Stop wishing if you don't let go of the things that you find and you lose and you know you keep on rolling, put the moment on hold, all the frames too bright, so put the blinds down low. I need this old train to break down. Oh, please just let me please break. Alright, so for those of you folks who are like, oh, what did he do there? And, you know, like, put the blinds down low, and I stopped it. I just did that Z chord that I was telling you guys about. So, it goes up. Frames too. Frames too bright, so put your blinds down low. All I did was put that in there after I hit the G. I need... So, nothing fancy, really. I mean, if you heard the noise, it's probably just my ring like hitting the uh, hitting the fretboard. So no, no, any kind of fancy things that you can do in uh, that you know that 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 was all it is. Just a hand going over like so. Okay, so you guys want to play it one more time and just bring it home. Here we go. One, two, ready, C. So train breaks down that I can take a walk around and see what there is to see and time is just a melody but all the people in the street walk as fast as the feet can take them I just roll through town and though my window's got a view well, the frame I'm looking through seems to have no concern for now so for now train to break down oh please just let me please break down this engine screams out loud centipede's gonna crawl westbound and i don't even make a sound cause it's gonna sting me when i leave this town and all the people in the street that i'll never get to meet these tracks don't bend somehow And I got no time that I need to get to Where I don't need to be So I I need this old train to break down Oh please just let me please break down I need this train to break down oh please just let me please break down bridge I wanna break on down and I can't stop now so let me break on down back to the verse but you can't stop nothing if you got no control of the thoughts in Stop wishing if you don't let go of the things that you find and you lose and you know you keep on rolling, put the moment on hold while the frames too bright, so put the blinds down low. I need this old train to break down. Oh, please just let me please break down. I need this old train to break down Oh, please just let me please break down Alright
right. So if you guys want to learn the full lesson, which uh, you know, which includes a a more fancier strum, so I think we could. If you want to learn the original version with some picking. You can find it over at ukuleleunderground.com where you can take your ukulele playing and learn some new songs, some new techniques or whatever that you want to do. But if you want to take your ukulele playing to the next level, sign up for UU Plus where uh, you know we have more in store for you there. We have now private lessons. We have Thursday live lessons, which you can, uh, it's like a Q&A show that we have over there. We have a private forum that you guys can enjoy. Uh, and we have tons and tons and tons of premium content for you guys to check out, all right? If you like this, we do this every Thursday um, at 2 p.m. Hawaii Standard 2 Time. 2 15. 2.15. Oh, 2.15 p.m. Yeah. Hawaii Standard Time. So some people don't think we're playing or doing Hawaiian time, you know, they're 15 minutes late. 2.15 Hawaii Standard Time for um, for Songs Made Easy. If you like this format, we do this every Thursday. And please, please, please join us. Um, If, you know, if you're more of an advanced or intermediate player, but you know someone who wants to pick up an ukulele, suggest to them this video, you know, um, or uh, if you're a parent, you know, and you want to teach your kids, this is the perfect stuff to kind of, you know, to kind of watch along with your children and just kind of show them, oh, okay, well, this is what Aldridge is talking about. I've get, I've gotten so many emails about how people use Songs Made Easy as not just lessons for themselves, but lessons for their friends and their families as well. So make sure you, uh, you take these and, uh, and learn as much as you can because the ukulele is a very, very, very fun instrument and I hope you guys uh, have fun with it, okay? So uh, stick around. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching over at UU Plus. If you're an Ukulele on the Ground Plus member, you can get some one-on-one -on -one time with yours truly, and I can kind of help you out whatever you're stuck with, and I can help you get unstuck on your ukulele. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great one, and aloha.